Now we come to the multi-mode step index fiber. Suppose we have a transmitter or light source that is placed here and this light source emits an input pulse into the optical fiber that has this shape. And this input pulse consists of uh, different rays. And these rays have different angles of incidence. For example, the angle of incidence of the black ray is lower than the angle of incidence of the red ray. And as the angle or angles of incidence of these rays is uh, are different, so these rays adopt different paths inside the optical fiber. We can see that the path of the red ray is longer than the path of the black ray and the path of the black ray is longer than the path of the blue ray. So as a result, these uh, rays arrive at different times at receiver. First, the blue ray would arrive and then the black ray would arrive and then the red ray would arrive. And as a result, uh, the pulse that was that had this shape at the transmitter at the receiver at the receiver uh, this pulse would be distorted like this and uh, this dis uh, distortion is called as the dispersion now these different paths are called as different modes and these different modes are due to different angles of incidence and since uh, this uh, distortion or this dispersion is due to different modes, uh, so it is called as the modal dispersion. And one of the main disadvantages of the uh, multi-mode step index fiber is that it suffers from the modal dispersion as it allows many different modes. Now we are uh, showing the modal dispersion phenomena in this slide in the case of multi-mode step index fiber. Suppose here we are encoding one as a pulse of light and this is a square pulse of light and for zero we are not sending anything and then again we are encoding one as a square pulse of light. And then we are sending these pulses of light uh, through the optical fiber and we see what happens. Now we can see that uh, a pulse of light is composed of different rays that have different modes. And some of these modes reach uh, earlier at the receiver while other modes receive late at the receiver reach late at the receiver. And so we can see that these pulses uh, of ones uh, that we sent uh, to the receiver, uh, they suffer from the dispersion and this dispersion is the modal dispersion and as a result of this dispersion, uh, we receive one here and then we receive one here uh, for this pulse but in but in between these two pulses we had the zero but here uh, instead of deciding that zero was sent we are deciding that one is sent because uh, of the dispersion of these two ones so here we are making a wrong decision and uh, so as we increase the data rate, uh, these pulses become closer to one another. For example, for a higher data rate, uh, one would be this pulse, which is a much shorter pulse, and then you have a much shorter duration for zero, and then you have one which has much shorter duration than this earlier case. And in this case, the possibility of making wrong decisions at the receiver it increases so in the case of multi-mode step index fiber the modal dispersion actually limits uh, the maximum amount of data rate that can be sent uh, through this optical fiber 
because if we go beyond that data rate uh, we would have excessive bit errors at the receiver